What are we sitting in front of and what is its significance to Of Mice and Men? Uh, what we're sitting in front of is a little bit of inspiration for our set for Of Mice and Men. So uh, these are palettes and uh, during the depression when Of Mice and Men was written, people were, were run out of their homes and they were living in makeshift homes and they were living in makeshift residences. And so one of the things we're doing with these palettes is as part of our set, we are um, cre creating an environment, a kind of an unrealistic environment, using palettes to give the audience an environmental feel of what the characters in the play are going through in these sort of constructed ramshackle homes that they, uh, the characters had to live in during this period of time. How does the theme of loneliness shape of Mice and Men? Uh, loneliness really struck me in the script. Uh, there's a character, African-American character named Crooks, who is works at the farm that Lenny and George come to, but he is uh, pretty much ignored by everyone there because because he's black. And Crooks says, uh, a guy goes nuts if he ain't got nobody. I tell you, a guy gets too lonely, he gets sick. And I think everybody in this play is is lonely and becoming sick because of that loneliness, because of that disconnection from uh, their fellow man. If this play play was a piece of fine art, what would it be? It would be the photography of Dorothea Lang. She was doing black and white photos of people during the Dust Bowl, yeah. during the Depression. A lot of her photographs were of people living in ramshackle homes, going from uh, migrant work to migrant work, searching for work. And her her photography was a revelation during uh, during that time because it really allowed people on the fringes of the country to see the the suffering that, that people were going through in the depression and through the dust bowl i'm going to name a character and in a sentence or a few words you describe them okay ready mm -hmm. george melton um angry frustrated and a reluctant parent lenny small a, a gentle giant candy Candy, uh, broken and discarded by all of the men around him. Slim. Hope. Curly. Curly. Uh, he is a, a little dictator. He's a little kid trying to act like an adult. Curly's wife. Curly's wife, a woman with dashed dreams. Crooks. Crooks. Um, completely broken and lonely. The boss. Isolated by his authority. Carlson. A sociopath. Wit. Not witty. <laughs> Should volunteers watch one of the film adaptations? Yes and no. I would say watch the film adaptation to get a sense of the story, to get a sense of the progression of the story. But I'm really interested in your take on loneliness. I'm interested in, in, in what you think about these characters in this play and the situation they're in. So don't copy a performance. I'm really interested in how you relate to the material and how you can bring that forth. Well, how should volunteers prepare for their audition? Uh, read the script and have a point of view. Have a point of view about loneliness. Have a point of view about the isolation that these men and women are feeling in their migrancy in looking for work. Have a, have a point of view about our disconnection from each other as human beings. What will volunteers experience through the audition process? In the audition process, we're gonna do cold readings of the scenes. Uh, well, actually, they'll get the scenes beforehand so you can read them through with a partner. Then you'll come up and do them, and I'll give you feedback on the scenes. The feedback that I'm probably gonna give is to keep reminding you to really connect to your fellow actor. Really listen to your fellow actor. Don't act <laughs> like you're connecting. Don't act like you're listening. Really listen, really co connect and respond to what they're giving you. You begin your director's notes with a quote from John Steinbeck's journal, which mm -hmm. includes, try to understand each other. Why is this applicable? When we're able to understand somebody, to really put ourselves in their shoes, to, to, to know what they're feeling or try to know what they're feeling, we can keep ourselves from treating them, writing them off, uh, treating them and ignoring them and, and, and compounding their loneliness. It really is about empathizing and embracing our fellow man in a way so that we're, we're bringing them in and, and making them feel inclusive rather than shunning them out. Auditions for Of Mice and Men are December 13th and 14th at 7 p.m. in the Civic Auditorium. Of Mice and Men plays in the Parish Theater March 4th through March 19th, 2016.